In this video, you will learn how to create categories to add weights to your gradebook. This allows for much more complex grading than the basic grading of total points over total possible. First, navigate to the gradebook by hitting the Grades link in the Administration block. This should take you to the Grade Report page. Now click the Setup tab and then make sure you are in the Gradebook Setup tab. With no categories or weighting set up, the total course grade for each student will be calculated by total points received over total points possible. This obviously doesn't work for me because my quizzes are out of 10 and the homeworks are out of 100. So each homework is worth 10 times a quiz, which makes no sense. To fix this, we will put all the similar grade items into their own categories and determine how much each one is worth at the end. To create a category, scroll to the bottom of the page and hit Add Category. The first category I create will be the Homework category. There are three aggregation types and they work as follows. Weighted mean of grades averages all the percentage grades you got and gives you that percentage of points out of the category total. Simple weighted mean of grades calculates your natural percentage of points by points received over points possible and gives you that percentage of your category's total points. And natural gives you however many points you have earned from that category over however many points as possible. The difference between simple weighted mean of grades and natural is that simple weighted mean of grades allows you to choose a max points for that category, whereas natural allows the max points to change as more points are added to the category. I'm going to use natural for all of my categories because it is easiest. Once you have chosen your aggregation, you can click the show more link to see extra options such as dropping high or low grades. The next option to choose is your category total. When you are happy with your category, scroll to the bottom of the page and hit save changes. When you are back on the gradebook setup page, select the far right box for all the grade items you would like to move into your category. For this one I will select all the homeworks, then scroll down and move the selected items into the homework category. I'm going to repeat this for the next two categories so the gradebook will have no grade items outside of categories. The first one will be for tests. And the second one will be for quizzes. Now that we have all three categories made and all the grade items put into their respective category, we are ready to start weighting the grades. These percentages by each category and grade item show their respective weight if they were to have one based on their points. So you can see that the homework category by default accounts for 43.86% of the student's total grades, and the entire quiz category only accounts for 3.509% of the student's total grade. You may also notice that homework 2 is only worth half the percentage of the other two homeworks because it is worth only half the points of the others. If we wanted all the homeworks to be worth the same weight regardless of the points they are out of, we need to weight them all evenly. To do this, select the boxes next to the homework grade items and then set each one to be 33.333% of the grade. You can also weight the categories themselves against each other. Just select the check boxes like we did, but for the category options, and fill in how much each category should be worth. Note, when you select every single option, you need to be sure that your weight total adds up to 100. If your scores do not add up to 100, PolyLearn will fix it for you, but it may not be what you want. If you only weight a few items in a category, the rest of the items will be calculated using whatever aggregation you have selected for that category. When you are done with all your changes, scroll to the bottom of the page and hit Save Changes. These edit buttons allow you to access the settings or hide each individual grade item and let you change the settings, delete, hide, or reset the weights of the categories for the categories. That's all for waiting your gradebook. If you have any more questions, please visit the PolyLearn support site at polylearnsupport.calpoly.edu.